Hello there, welcome back. In this part of the, sorry, in this uh, video, we're going to finish off the messaging system. Now, I know that this has been a long journey, this stuff, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a shame that things are that way, but this is actually at the heart of pretty much every IT system that you'll ever build, so it's worth doing right, you know? And just so you know, after this is done, we're going to do the contact form, just so you know what's coming up. We're going to do the contact us form, and then we're going to do the actual online shop. So shipping, add to cart, uh, the checkout, all of that stuff. It's right around the corner, it's coming up, but we just need to finish this first. Is that cool? Okay, so let's go. Um, I'd like you to open up uh, the templates module and open up customer panel top, okay? And the plan is I'm gonna try and get this doing something a bit more meaningful. You'll notice that we've got this thing class active here and that draws a nice little um, tab sort of shape around things like so, do you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna try and get this uh, behaving a bit better and in fact, I'm going to break one of the little conventions of PHP and do something a bit rebellious and crazy because I'm going to write a function on the page here, okay? And the real the reason why I'm doing it on the, the page, um, yes, this kind of is a violation of MVC and all of that, but it's such a simple function that, you know, it's only going to be used here. I, I think I can allow myself to kind of get away with this. So basically the vibe is, I'm going to write a thing called attempt make active, okay? And uh, we'll have uh, something like, we'll pass in a thing called link text, I don't know, something like that, okay? So the idea is, that, if this goes on to the screen, right, then the thing is active. So what I'm going to do, you know how if you if you go in PHP, if you say something like current URL, right, in CodeIgniter, that will return the, the page that you're on, okay? If we do that, it will return the page that we're on, right? So I'm going to say if current URL, whoops, Okay, if the current URL is equivalent to, <coughs> excuse me, um, if the current URL is equivalent to, to what? Well, if it's equivalent to base URL, uh, your account forward slash welcome, if it's equivalent to all that stuff, then we're going to echo onto the screen class active. Okay. And then the vibe is, I'm going to head in here, like so. And in PHP, I'm just going to run this function. Uh, actually, I can use short tags if I want. And I'm going to run attempt make active, like so. Closing PHP. And the link text is going to be your messages, okay? So if the current URL is all of that stuff and the link text is equivalent to your messages. Man, I'm running off the page. Okay, so if those two conditions are met, then this thing here is gonna have class of active, okay? And while we're at it, let's, let's do this link properly. So uh, I'll bring this, I think, I think I'm going to bring this on to a new line just to make it a bit more tidy. Okay. And uh, right in here, we'll just say base URL. And then it's going to be, now hold on a second, we've got base URL, your account, welcome. Okay. So if we refresh this, you'll see that we're looking at the message. Keep your eye on this top section here. Everything looks kind of cool, and when we click on this, do you see how the little tab vibe has appeared? Okay, okay, so that's that, and it's basically just a nice uh, little simple PHP function, something like that, okay? 
Um, could we make this any better? Well, hmm. Nah, I think that's fine. Having a wee sip of coffee there, sorry about that. I think that's okay. So that's kind of cool, right? So we've now got this thing working in some kind of semi-meaningful way. The next thing I'm going to do is build something that lets admin and, uh, as a matter of fact, customers as well, lets them both respond to messages, okay? So let's just... Oh. Log in. Did you hear that? That was a tap that just temporarily switched itself on there. I think there's a ghost in here. I'm in the kitchen, you know. Anyway, uh, let's log in as an administrator. It's admin and password. Okay, and uh, we're going to go to... Now, hold on a second. It's probably a good idea to get this messages thing working because I'm tired of typing in messages inbox. So let's sort that out, okay? Um, if we... Let me just close this. If we uh, do a search in the templates folder for something like manage categories, okay, something like that, then you'll see that it brings up the admin template and this is where all the action's happening. Now, messages is so important. I'm going to copy that and take it right to the top here. Well, just underneath dashboard actually, okay? So the messages thing is going to go to base URL and then it's going to go to... Now, what on earth? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is the messages uh, URL again? Can you remember? I think it was uh, inquiries, sorry, inquiries forward slash inbox. That's where we want to go. Inquiries forward slash inbox. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hit refresh. My little icon has disappeared, but that's okay. If I just do that, okay, refresh. Okay, so here we go. I'm now in the inbox, right? That's kind of cool. And if we click onto this message uh, here, you'll see that we've got this, this vibe going on here, right? Inquiry ID, blah, 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 blah. So let's build a reply feature in here. It should not be too difficult, right? So if we go to inquiries, and uh, let me just close the other stuff. Okay, so this is inquiries forward slash view, right? Let's just see what's happening. So that's loading up a view file that's called view, okay? Um, we have various things getting... Well, let's just open it up, actually. So inquiries, views, view.php. Okay, this inquiry that we're looking at has an update or has an ID. Now, I'm just going to do a thing here, echo update ID, and of course, it's going to cause a fault, okay? So what we'll do then is we will chuck a thing in here that says data update ID equals update ID, okay? So we've now passed the update ID into the view file, which is kind of nice, right? And where we've got this thing going on here, we'll have a button that lets you actually reply to the message. Now that button will be very similar to this compose message thing. Do you see that? So let's just view the page source. And where we've got this compose message, that's the vibe there. Okay, I'm just going to copy that. And we'll chuck this in here like that, okay? And I'm actually, I'm quite happy for that just to be a button, you know? There's no need to make it a full-on form or something. It's just going to link to a page, you know? Okay, so um, this is going to go to, let me just have a think here, actually. I think, I just want to try something, actually. Can I go to... Let me go to uh, create. Now this is 
1012. Yeah, I'm going to go to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do actually. I'm going to send the thing, I'm making this up as I go along by the way, but I'm going to go to inquiries create, but I'm going to pass that up, the ID across, okay? That's the plan. So let's just do that. So inquiries create forward slash and then we'll just chuck in the update ID and we'll say reply to this uh, message. Okay, so if we click into this, we've now got a button here that says reply to this message, right? When we click on that, now takes us to inquiries forward slash create and we've got loads of errors and whatnot but do not worry everything's going to be just fine uh, so if we go to create you can see that it uh, it's looking at the update id here okay and let's just see what's happening if is numeric update id okay so right first thing is the headline We've got this just this vibe. If not is numeric, then the headline is compose new message. However, we do have a numeric update ID, so the data headline is going to equal uh, reply to message, something like that. Okay, so if we refresh the screen, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Okay, now. Uh, let's just go through this and we'll try and figure out what's going on. You can see, if we go right back to the inbox, you can see that the subject is rock and roll and the message is here we go, right? And if we hit reply, you'll see that that comes straight into this, um, you know, we've got the subject being carried across and here we go. It is fantastic, Ola. However, this drop down here is kind of uncool. We obviously don't want that okay so let's figure out who sent the message um now if i go into uh, let's just see if we go into this create file so inquiries forward slash create and i'm just going to do echo sent to and then hit refresh Okay, sorry, sent by, my mistake. Okay, so you'll see that this, um, we've got the sent by, that's the customer ID, which happens to be one, okay? Now, if we had, just so you know, if we had just gone, oh gee, sorry about that. If we had just gone to create, then you'll see that we do not have sent by uh, as a variable that's set, okay? So here's what we can do with that interesting information. We can say something like, jump into PHP, if not is set, sent by, then we're gonna draw all of this stuff here, okay? That's the vibe. Okay, so then we're going to draw all of this stuff here, okay? Um, but then, otherwise, and I have a tradition of having hidden variables at the bottom of the form. It's just, you know, kind of typically where you like to find them. So I'm just going to say if is set, whoops, if is set, sent by, then I'm just going to say form hidden and the vibe is uh, this sent to thing is going to be sent by. Do you know what I mean? So sent to is going to be sent by. I'm sending it to the person who sent the thing, you know. So if we hit refresh, uh, okay, that's kind of cool. And if we go back like so, reply to this message. You'll see that everything looks just fine. Um, the only thing that we could probably do to make this a bit better is adjust this here, okay? So I think what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to say, um, let me just see. Okay, so have we got a fetch data from DB? Okay, so with this vibe here, I'm just going to show you what's happening, okay? So we'll say for each data, blah, 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 I'm just going to say echo key of key has value of value. So you can see what's happening. I'll do a little die statement here. Okay, so you can see that we've got a, a, a data a array pair which is which has a key of message and a value of here we go. So what I would do is I would say data, sorry, data message equals, and I'll say something like um, the original message was, uh, is this is shown below something like that I don't know um, and maybe do something like that I don't know <laughs> so it's gonna do that data message is that and then join it on to data message okay so if we have a quick look at this okay so we want this to be on a new line, so I'm going to just say this obviously never quite worked here. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Okay, that's kind of cool, and actually I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do something like, let me just see, I think we'll do a dashed line. That should be kind of cool. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, right, so when they hit reply now, right, so if they go to reply message, it says the original message is shown below. I think we can live with that. If they go to messages and go to compose new message, there's no need for that. Everything is cool. And in, in fact, that should work. That should absolutely work. So I'm going to say, uh, do a message here. In fact, Let's make it even more perfect, shall we? Make it even more perfect. Let's do, uh, let's do three spaces here. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's good. So if we now go reply, we get that, and I'll say something like, do you know something? Let's make it two. Yes, I am that much of a perfectionist. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to say, thank you for your message. This is a reply for you. Regards, DC. Okay. Um, and I have, when is the original message is shown below? I, gee, I'm so sorry. Typos, man. It's a story of my life, you know. So here we go. Thank you for your message. This is a reply for you. And then we do send. Message was successfully sent. Okay. Now, if we go have a look as a customer, hit refresh, you'll see that this has came in from customer support. If we view it, it says, thank you for your message. This is a reply for you. We can see the original message is shown below. And that's not too bad. That is not too bad. All we need to do now to get this thing perfect is do a reply button for the customer, okay? Now, I'm going to open this in a new tab so that I can see what's happening. And you can see that we've got a button here that says compose new message, right? So, do you know something? Let's do that in the next video. This has gone on too long. I'll upload this the next video will do compose message as a customer and that will probably be us as far as this thing goes, okay? Uh, okay, right, so see you in the next video.